Hey everybody, Chris here. Sonicware have been very busy behind the scenes and are now ready with a new Liven to launch, the Liven Mega Synthesis. The Liven Mega Synthesis is a game music production machine and reproduces the sound capabilities of the world's first 16-bit games console. That includes everything the YM2612 chip could do with its 4 operator 8 algorithm FM synthesis and its ability to play back 8-bit PCM samples. Radical. Then alongside that, it re reproduces everything the SN76489 chip can do, which includes square and noise chiptune-like sounds. This comes with a familiar looking multi-track sequencer, you'll recognise some of the other livens, but this time everything's been streamlined to make it really easy to use. Sonicware have also been working with the absolute gaming music legend Yuzo Koshiro on the Liver Mega Synthesis, and he has supplied some patterns and sounds for you to use. So in this first video, I'll just be giving a quick look at how everything looks and sounds, and then later we'll have a nice deep dive video. So let's get started. So let's just have a quick look at the layout. We've got six tracks here. So the first three are FM. They load FM presets that we can choose through, through the bank and sound knobs, which we can edit when we use the overlay. And we've got two PSG tracks. These are the square and noise sounds that I mentioned earlier. And then we've got a PCM sample track at the end, which again, we can load different sounds on using the bank and sample knobs. The PSG uh, tracks are a bit different because they don't have any presets and we can choose the different types of noise and, and the envelope shapes using these knobs at the top. So there's 64 PCM drum kits to use and uh, 320 FM preset sounds to dig into if you just want to build your own music and not have to make all your own sounds. So all these tracks can have different sounds on them. So for track one, I can uh, go and find a bass sound and then uh, play something with that. Then for track two, I could choose, say the guitar selection and then play something with that. And then we've still got another FM track so I can find a piano and then maybe tweak the sound a little bit and add another layer. Then on the PSG tracks, like I say, they don't have any presets, so we get to choose between a selection of different combinations of square, pulse, and different types of noise. So I could just dial in the square and turn up the release a little bit and add another layer. And then we've still got another PSG track, so I could choose, say, the pulse and drop the octave a couple of notches and then play something with this. Then over on the PCM track, we've got uh, kits that we can play with. We can also use the PCM track to play uh, melodic samples, but it, by default, it's just going to slice the kit up. So we dial in something, we get the first six uh, keys down here. We're going to play uh, slices from that drum. So we can add another layer with that. So let's just build up a quick pattern just to show how this all works. So I'm going to stick with that drum kit and I'm just going to record a, a loop of that into the sequencer. Then I've chosen a different bass sound and I'm just going to record a little bit of that alongside it. Then on track two, I've chosen this melodic sound, a koto, so I'm going to add that over the top. Then I'm going to use this fuzz lead sound for track three to kind of add a layer underneath it, just to sort of give it a bit of a bed. Then on track four, I've made this pulse sound. I've just added a bit of the sweep in its LFO mode uh, just to give it a bit of movement. And then I'm going to play that over the top too. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to build something up. Uh, you've got all these presets to mess with and the PSG tracks are really simple. The PCM will give you drums or sampled instruments if you want. There's a lot more to it if you want to dig in deeper, but just to, to get going really quickly, it's, it's quite easy. So obviously this is just a quick start video and it's just really is just scratching the surface. The next video will be a deep dive into the pattern editing main part of the Liven. And then a follow-up video will cover the 
deeper part, which is the overlay, which is the FM synthesis. I'll also be detailing the differences. There is a few little tweaks that have been made to make this more accessible. Uh, the uh, original uh, YM2612 chip was quite specific in certain areas that a lot of those restrictions have been lifted and the same on the uh, chip tune side as well. Like the pulse, for example, would only ever be monophonic, but we can play it polyphonically here. And also the polyphony used by the PCM track doesn't eat into the voices available on the FM side here either. So there are just, yeah, there's lots of little tweaks. And I'll go through that in detail. But for now, let's just close on one of Yuzo Kajiro's uh, presets. So I'm just going to load in Chinatown pattern and let that play. So cheers. Catch you in the next one.